part eight of the video, how to animate the winning form. So when they guess right, we go to a special form. So here's the game. The right answer is 45. Let's guess 45. Go to this form, show some animation, and then jump back. And to do that, we have to introduce a new object. So here's the winning form. You can see I have an image of a star here. You do want to make sure size mode, stretch image. So that's one thing we have to remember, size mode, stretch image. You can just click it right there. Now, down here, scrolling, scrolling, components. You have this, a timer. Click and drag, and it'll fall down here with your menu strip if you have one. TMR is usually the prefix for a timer. I'll click on it. I'm calling this one timer animate, TMR animate. It's already on the interval 100. That 1000 is one second. So 100 out of 1000, for those of you that know your math and your fractions, that's one tenth of a second. So one tenth, every one tenth of a second, it's going to do the coding. So what is the coding? Double click on it. Timer animate tick. Every one tenth of a second. Image star dot height equals image star dot height plus 20. Image star dot width equals image star dot width plus 20. I'm growing it proportionally by 20 pixels every one tenth of a second. So it's growing by 20 height and width. If you want to play with that and grow it disproportionately, just change those numbers. Doesn't have to be 20. But 20 grows it proportionally for me. And then this if statement is when it gets to be too big. So when it gets to a certain point, through some trial and error, I chose the number 480. If image star dot height is greater than or equal to 480, then turn off the timer, stop growing, reset it. I make the height and the width back to 140. So I shrink it again, go back to the main form and close the form that you're on. And if. So that's really it. There's your introduction now to a timer. That's going to be useful in some future projects, second semester.